Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we have to analyze the Bitcoin price because we are still in a downtrend. We are still below $30,000. So we're gonna have to analyze how we closed the traditional markets uh, yesterday. And of course, also the CME chart because we have a weekly close already on the CME chart. And of course, we're gonna analyze the spot market, the spot chart as well. So this video is brought to you by Binance. Here you can trade all the cryptos that you want. You can buy all kinds of altcoins and and this is the biggest and safest exchange out there. So if you want to use Binance, then make sure to sign up with the link in the video description to get some extra benefits. And if you want to know all the features of Binance, then watch the video tutorials that are popping up at the end of this video. And Binance is also supported on Bitscap. So if you want, for example, to run trading bots on Binance, you can do that, of course, also through Bitscap. All the links are in the video description. So if you want to make some passive income then make sure to use Binance because there you have the best uh, features uh, how to get some passive income and of course also how to trade all the cryptos that you want next to leverage trading of course and in addition you can also take advantage of their own NFT marketplace so definitely check out all the features that Binance is offering to you and now my friends let's dive here first into the spot chart and let's open up here the four hour time frame because we have still this down trend we're still getting rejected from the median line of the Keltner channels so every buy signal is just ending up in a retest of the median line of the Keltner channels currently at thirty thousand dollars so i think that during this weekend the trading range will be between twenty nine thousand dollars and 30k before uh, we're gonna open up again the cme chart on monday because remember wherever we are going through the weekend with the price most of the times we are retracing back to where we closed the cme chart on friday and we closed here at twenty nine thousand thousand five hundred seventy dollars so most likely we're gonna remain in this uh, price range here even though I'm expecting in the next coming hours another retest of the 30k area and maybe even have uh, some more pushes to the upside but I think that we're gonna remain in this downtrend with lower highs and lower lows that's why currently I'm not very confident that Bitcoin have the chance especially during this weekend uh, to start an uptrend here so in theory, the four hour time frame is looking like for another attempt of pushing again towards 30K, but I'm not pretty confident that we are able to push higher than that. And also the 200 moving average in the four hour is here at $31,440. As long as we have four hour closes below the 200 moving average where we got rejected with the last push above $32,000, uh, I gonna remain with the opinion that we gonna remain in this downtrend and that it's more likely that we are gonna fall again uh, down towards the low 20s before we maybe start a complete new uh, bull run. But of course, if we would see four hour closes above the 200 moving average and things will change immediately. And if we switch over into the daily time frame, here we are still below the median line of the Keltner channels. As long as we don't have daily closes above $30,450, we definitely are in this downtrend. And it's very likely that over time we're coming down to test the uh, retracement level here, this Fibonacci retracement level from the whole pump that we have seen with the low here at $25,000 and the current top at $32,000. The retracement level is down here, the 0.618 at around $28,000. If Bitcoin is coming down towards this price level, this is the last resort of the bulls of having a nice bounce and of course attack again at the median line of the Keltner channels and then the top of the Keltner channels because if we would lose this support here at this important Fibonacci retracement level, we definitely are falling down uh, below the bottom of the Keltner channels at $28,000 and that would mean that we most likely are having that final crash down towards uh, the $20,000 area where we have the 200 weekly moving average lining up. So usually Bitcoin is bottoming out in a bear market at the 200 weekly moving average. This is the moving average that everyone is looking right now currently at $22,000. I told you that it's very, very likely that very soon we are getting a nice relief rally since in the weekly time frame we are very oversold and once we're getting a buy signal, uh, we're gonna definitely have a nice run up towards the median line of the Kelta channels to retest this resistance currently at $38,000 where we also have a CME gap lining up and maybe even have a full run up towards the top of the Kelta channels at $48,000. But until then, there is a very high risk that we could eventually fall first down towards the 200 weekly moving average and afterwards getting that buy signal 
and then the run up towards the median line of the Cadmus channels and the top of the Cadmus channels. And then we're gonna see if we can start a complete new bull run towards new all-time highs or if this is going to end up in a lower high compared to the previous highs and afterwards uh, continue the bear market. And um, the weekly close on the CME chart was very bearish, even though we closed in green, because as you can see, we had a huge week to the upside, and that is a sign of rejection. So we had a nice uh, pump at the beginning of this week, but this got sold off immediately. And usually this is a sign of weakness. And that's why as long as here, we don't have a bullish engulfing candle. So we need to have at least a weekly close above $31,000. Then we can speculate that we could have a nice relief rally but until then we're gonna remain in this downtrend and if we're gonna close weekly candles below the bottom of the Kaltner channels currently at $28,000 so you see that $28,000 is a very very important support level right now not only in the lower time frames but also in the weekly time frames so also in the bigger time frames then we're definitely gonna see here a final capitulation down towards the 200 weekly moving average and maybe even have some weeks to the downside as well because I'm expecting here a consolidation phase probably for a couple of days and weeks also with some weeks to the downside and afterwards start a complete new uh, bull run but for now the weekly close is bearish here on the CME chart and also here on the spot chart I don't think that we're gonna close differently here uh, so probably we're gonna close uh, similar like the CME chart and that's why the weekly close is uh, bearish at least for now and the same thing of course goes also for ethereum here we are even in a risk to close below the bottom of the Caltech channels extremely bearish because also here ethereum is on the risk to fall down towards the 200 weekly moving average and this is at $1,200 I think that if we're gonna see such a huge crash this will be the absolute buy opportunity not only for ethereum but of course also for Bitcoin because also remember that we are still far below the accumulation phase of the logarithm growth curves for Bitcoin we are below this green zone usually the green zone is already a good buy opportunity and this is where everyone is accumulating more Bitcoin and whenever we are falling below this green zone this in the past always signaled the absolute bottom and of course also the best buy opportunity for Bitcoin and this is where we are right now so if we would see such a huge capitulation down towards the 200 weekly moving average we would be far away from those uh, logarithmic growth curves curves and even from the bottom of the logarithmic growth curves and that's why I think that this would be once in a lifetime opportunity to accumulate more cryptos especially Bitcoin and Ethereum if you still don't have enough that's why if we're getting such kind of a final crash down towards the 200 weekly moving average both for Bitcoin and Ethereum and of course also some other altcoins and take it as a good buy opportunity and let me know if you want to know also some other altcoins that currently I am buying in because I am uh, already starting to diversifying into some altcoins as well so I don't have to uh, rush in once we are starting to take off again because uh, once Bitcoin is starting an uptrend again you can be sure that the altcoins uh, will go up very rapidly especially because most of them are getting smashed right now so I'm still in the opinion that we could get a final crash but uh, it depends also what the traditional market is going to do because we are seeing some signs of weakness in the DXY uh, you can see that we are retracing in the weekly time frame back into the Kaldner channels and if here we're starting a consolidation phase or a corrective phase we have very good chances for the crypto and stock market to have a very fast recovery and the DXY also here in the daily time frame is starting to have some problems in pushing higher so we are confirming again new resistance levels and if those are pressing us down it's very likely that we could see a nice recovery in the crypto and stock market market very fast without such a final capitulation down towards the bearish targets where uh, we have the 200 weekly moving average lining up and also here for Nasdaq we closed right at the median line of the Kaltner channels for now we're getting supported and this is what we want to see of course also over in the crypto market currently this is not the case but if Nasdaq here is starting a nice uptrend with higher highs and higher lows in the daily time frame and we found already here the bottom at the bottom of the Kaltner channels it's very likely that for the next coming weeks we're gonna see some bullish uh, pushes towards the median line of the Kaltner channels and finally also maybe to test here the top of the Kaltner channels in the weekly time frame since here we are getting now a confirmed buy signal so I'm pretty bullish for the next coming days and weeks for the stock market especially for Nasdaq 
and that's why i think that we could eventually see also some bullish price action in the crypto market uh, incoming even though the charts right now are telling us that we should be ready for a huge capitulation a candle down towards the 200 weekly moving average but if we look into other indicators like the logarithmic growth curves this tells us of course that right now it's a good buy zone and we should accumulate as much as possible bitcoin ethereum and some other altcoins because if we're not getting that final capitulation candle you will be left behind waiting for that final capitulation candle because once we're starting to reverse the trend uh, we definitely are going to see a nice faster recovery uh, since uh, we have been uh, smashed since the last couple of weeks a lot and once we're gonna have more confidence in the market i think that the investors uh, will buy as much as they can at those cheap price levels especially if you look at the logarithmic growth curves we are way below the accumulation uh, zone and that's why my advice is still to dca into bitcoin and some other cryptos as long as we are below uh, this green zone of the logarithmic growth curves doesn't matter if we're falling uh, below the current price uh, levels then accumulate just more because those are once in a lifetime opportunities i have told you that also in previous bear markets if you uh, are following me since many years uh, then you should have already a nice crypto portfolio because uh, with this channel started in the bear market of 2018 and 19 and at that time i told everyone to buy as much as you can especially at the 200 weekly moving average and everyone that did so right now is of course sitting in some huge and nice uh, uh, bitcoin and altcoin bags all right my friends and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos check out all the referral links that you find in the video description because with all of them you will get some extra income especially the one for binance then also take advantage of the trading bots of bitscap here is also a referral link where you can get 14 days uh, trial completely for free and check out also my other links especially the ones for all my other social media platforms and make sure to check out also the other youtube channels and of course join our great discord trading chat all the links are in the video description so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye